Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another Genshin Impact playthrough session. I am so excited for 2.3's official release for the 2.3 event, Shadows Amid Snowstorms with Albedo and the Mondstadt gang uh, following the trailer that we got to see during the 2.3 livestream event. A lot of questions, a lot of concerns for Albedo and potential that something is amiss with someone potentially going after his research. The fact that Albedo is turning on on the Knights of Favonius, and this might be the startup of the Albedo like villain arc that was kind of foreshadowed during 1.2 of Albedo's character quest and the Chalk Prince and the Dragon event. But I feel like I need more context because I feel like things aren't necessarily as they seem. But before we jump into that, I have a few things to go through with housekeeping. You know, we're gonna go through the weekly bosses before we start the event as well. So the first thing that I wanna say is that I fucked up. From my perspective of someone who like plays this game diligently almost every single single day since its release and I'm actually seething and fuming on the inside and the reason for that is because I currently have all of my commissions set in Liyue because I am trying desperately to try to get every name card in the game and one of the name cards that I'm currently trying to go for which is locked behind like RNG luck of getting it it's the cliffhanger and for this commission what you have to do is you have to pray to the fucking Geo Archon himself that you get these two quests here you need to get the cliffhanger quest you talk to the storyteller and i have finished the one where he tells me both sides of the story with beto and i finished one of the two quests for sing cho a few weeks ago i logged into my game to see what commissions i had because it was a super busy day and i got the last cliffhanger commission that i needed and i forgot to you know why i forgot to log in because usually i wait until the very last minute and the reset from my time Time is 4 a.m. I logged into Genshin at 3 23 in the morning on the day of daylight savings the fucking day that the clocks go back an hour the time schedule of the reset fucked me over so i have not gotten a cliffhanger achievement that's fine that's cool because i only had two out of four of the geo traveler diary since that happened a few weeks ago i have gotten not one geo traveler diary but today i got the second one that i needed so if i had done that fucking cliffhanger commission, I would have gotten the name card today. And I am so fucking angry. <laughs> I'm sorry for that really ranty intro to the stream, but I've been holding that in me since this morning when I looked at my commissions and I wanted to fucking snap my keyboard over my fucking knee. That had to happen. Like, it just had to. It was fate. Another thing that's really weird about this, I did look this up. I only have the God of Stoves quest item. And apparently there's like a bug or something in the game that if you get three of these, it takes away the last two that you got. So I know for a fact I've done the God of Stoves request. I've done the God of Histories request and i've done the god of wealth's request so the last one that i need for this is the groundbreaker which i guess i have to give him a plant or an ingredient so i'm gonna give him a joyin chili i really hope this is the last one that i need as you will have seen liwe harbor is a vast city but even the greatest cities were built one brick at a time there was nothing like the liwe harbor we know today when the first settlers arrived here through their sweat and toil those brave settlers cultivated the land bit by bit and eventually built this great city as you know the terrain is rocky and mountainous around liwe harbor this this makes the land extremely difficult to cultivate, and yet these tenacious plants grow defiantly in the mountains. Each of these plants also has useful properties, which make them immensely useful for the early settlers. They took this as the Geo Lord's divine providence. Stories of the settlers' accomplishments have always been popular in Liyue Harbor. Even today, many of Liyue's adventurers are inspired by the deeds of their forebearers. They see themselves as heirs of their legacy of tenacity and their spirit of breaking new ground. In the same vein, they also worship the Geo Lord as the groundbreaker. Liyue's adventures require them to be steadfast as the mountain in the face of whatever challenges they may face. Oh heavens, I've been talking too much. Let's wrap this up, okay? I would have had the fucking Ugh! I hate you past Arnold. Fuck you, dude. You did me so dirty. You guys probably know about this, but at the time of me recording this right now, there is an event going on right now in Genshin Impact with the adventurers of Twitch. So Mihoyo has repurposed the KFC wing glider event, as some of you guys might seen, where you go to a Twitch channel that has the wing glider drops enabled. You gift two gifted subs or you sub for two months or any combination of two subs, whether you're gifting them or you're subbing yourself to someone that you haven't subbed to yet. And and uh, you are 
able to redeem the wings of feasting. There was a lot of controversy on when this first was announced because people thought that big content creators would take the spotlight away from smaller content creators. And you had to sub to someone that you probably don't even watch really because it was from a select group of creators. So I'm just happy that they put it in the game because we've been asking for this shit for like ever since China got it and no one else got it. They said they talk about it in July. It is now the end of November. So better late than never. Two birthdays have recently passed. Sucrose's birthday, which I'm really happy about because Sucrose is the only character that I missed her birthday during year one. I was really bummed out about that. So we have hers and we have Kaya. So Sucrose's birthday is on the 26th. Some new discoveries. We just finished an important experiment. Phew. The next step is to await the results and hope for a breakthrough. I'm not one to believe in luck, but when it comes to my birthday, experiments tend to go well. While research you help with often sees good progress. So uh, if you could make it. Oh, right. There's one more thing I'd like to ask you. Recently, as I was tidying up my lab, I dug up some heretofore unseen materials from the back of a cupboard. I suspect it to be left here by someone else. Given how well-traveled you are, you might know something about it. The materials are enclosed. If you have any input, please, please let me know. Thank you very much. Love you, Sucrose. Thank you so much, girl. And then we have Sussy Baka Kaya over here. With the wind, the acting grandmaster gave me the day off, probably because it was my birthday. Too bad I wasn't in the mood for drinks, so I opted for a stroll instead. But you know, going where the wind takes me isn't all the different from what I always do. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Our job as Knights of Favonius can be both thankless and tough. The opportunity to leave our worries at the door, clear our minds, and just feel the breeze can be a real pick-me-up. So I ended up going a little further than expected, only to find all these crystal flies around me. Were they also waiting for the winery grapes to turn into fine alcohol? Either way, I've heard that you're quite fond of these shiny little trinkets, so they're all yours. All in all, I think I'll refrain from solidary walks in the future. I'll ask you to come along instead. It'll be more interesting that way. I trust. Yo, trust my guy. <laughs> I appreciate that, Kaya. I'm just going to redeem the rest of these for the rewards that I've been storing up. And I'm actually really happy that Amber is in my party as we're going to Dragon Spine because she is going to be the first character that dons the fabled KFC chicken wing. I can't believe this. <laughs> Dude, this KFC lore in Genshin Impact. This is ridiculous, dude. We're gonna go and fight the weekly bosses next. I got absolutely shitty drops for last week's boss. I got one dream solvent and that was it. So we're gonna try our luck and see how we do. Beg for mercy. I fucking hate this boss with every fiber of my being. I just lost everyone's burst. Are you kidding me? Wait, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, I hate him. Ha! Please give me something good, even though I just talk shit to you. Fuck. We got a claw. We got a sigh. I'm sighing, dude. I'm giving a fucking sigh of disappointment right now. Freeze to the core. Crush. Huck. Beg for mercy. There we go. This fight was a little tedious, I'll be honest. Another rough showing. Why do you hurt me, Mihoyo? Please. Witness my great under. Beg for mercy. Blood of frost. Bop. There you go. Bennett, give me that luck, my guy. I know you're like the super secret lucky character of the game. That's what I'm fucking talking about. Dream solvent and a gemstone. Benny boy coming in clutch. Roar. Baron Bunny. Face me. I can't face you if your back is turned. Oh, God. Tired. Ah, this is so frustrating. I hate this boss. Oh, Bennett. Bennett, please keep me alive. <sighs> Jesus, this boss is so annoying. Let us see what we got going on here. The same old, same old. Two boss drops, subpar. This one can be saved. Thanks for nothing, Asia Dahal. I'll see you next week. Ah, oh, damn it. Ah, uh, damn it. Oh my God. This team is not it, Chief. Thank God I'm doing this team for the event. This is the longest I've ever gone in this fight. So I'm actually hearing the music, which is really good. Bennett like ruins my Eula. Anyways, all right, that fight's over. Thank God. We got a dream solvent. Okay, this week was kind of saved. With all that said and done, we're finally ready to start shadows amid snowstorms. Palmon has an odd thought and drags you off to the Mondstadt alchemy shop to search for answers. So we get a crown out of this. We get the Cinnabar spindle, which is apparently 
definitely albedo signature weapon looks very reminiscent to the festering desire it also says a sword made from material that does not belong in this world the power within it might have been able to withstand the corruption of the venom that would corrode a mighty dragon so i originally thought that this weapon was the festering desire but purified it doesn't seem to be the case they do look very similar though and then we have alkahest which reminds me of like alkahestry from full metal alchemist brotherhood and these are the ascension materials for this free four star weapon and then everything else follows let us see what we got going on snowy past oh the gang's here oh albedo's here now too yo hey to me uh is that albedo yeah why is he my boy come back why does he look so serious albedo no i just got here hey it's the traveler and paimon hey timaeus what's up hello you two it's been a long time over a year actually were you having a really serious discussion right now or something just a regular catch-up we meet here once in a while to go through any recent developments in our research projects uh, so we just him. Yeah. Maybe we should have hollered to him. Has someone already stolen his research? He didn't look in the best of moods just now, though. Was he upset about something? Hmm. If so, he probably wouldn't have been in the mood to help out anyway. <laughs> uh, upset? You mean Albedo? Does he have that emotion in him? Yeah. He wasn't looking his usual self. Upset? Hmm. Uh -oh. I wonder if... Oh, no. You won't like him when he's angry. What are you looking at me for? Jeez. I wonder if Timaeus's research topic is... <laughs> so boring <laughs> that Albedo finally snapped. Bro, he's standing right in front of you. That's messed up. <laughs> Surely not. It's not that boring. Why is everyone taking is shots at Timaeus? <laughs> nah. Anyway, Paimon wanted to ask you for a favor, Timaeus. Yeah, what's up? Why did Paimon want to come here? A favor? <laughs> well, well, sure. How can I help? Paimon found a bunch of super duper sweet sincerias in the mountains the other day. Oh. But if Paimon eats them all, then they'll all be good. To finish them all yet. That's what happens when you eat food, Paimon. It goes away. Paimon was thinking maybe you could make a device that you put fruits in and it turns them into juice. That way, they'll be preserved for as long as Paimon needs. Is she foreseeing a blender in Genshin Impact? Aether, he's like, I've had enough. Get me out of this fucking game. Oh, yeah, I'm afraid that sort of thing is a little... Yeah, she wants like a juicer. Uh -huh. Huh? Seems pretty straightforward to Paimon. Can't you do it? Can't you just poof, make it into existence like Albedo? <laughs> Paimon, I I'm afraid you've entered into the realm of the weird and wonderful with this one. <laughs> the real world. Okay. So how about you, Sucrose? Any idea? I I'm sorry. It doesn't sound like it falls within my area of expertise. I could give it a try if you really want, but I'd probably just end up giving all your precious fruits arms and legs. <laughs> Whoa. Your tone is so calm, but your words are so terrifying. Oh, you'd think I'd be used to this by now. Well, as you know, my focus is on bioalchemy. Yeah. Besides, keeping things fresh forever is just not possible. If you just wanted to modify certain properties of the fruit or their seeds, on the other hand, mm. I'd easily be able to help with that. Alchemists usually focus in on their own research areas. Take us, for example. Timaeus, Albedo, and I all have very different research foci. Yeah, that's true. Paimon, your idea is very imaginative, but it's beyond Timaeus's and my ability. But Albedo can literally create life. I'm sure he can create a blender out of thin air. Fuck equivalent exchange. I don't think even Albedo can make such an incredible device. What? Fuck equivalent exchange. After all, alchemy is not mechanics. Mm. There is a big difference between the two. I guess. Sorry, I didn't know what's gotten into Paimon today. I can't take her anywhere. She embarrasses the hell out of me. Well, excuse Paimon for overestimating the power of alchemy. <laughs> in fact, before Albedo showed up, everyone in Mondstadt thought alchemy was useless. I believe that. I definitely believe that. Of course, we know better now. But even then, I have to admit, alchemy is only one of the many wondrous arts in the world. It's certainly not some kind of all-powerful magic that can simply take a substance and preserve it indefinitely. Mm. Uh, uh, oh. I don't know. Uh, sorry, that wasn't meant as a criticism against you personally. <laughs> don't blame yourself for Paimon's outlandishness. <laughs> I'll be sure to keep Paimon in check in the future. Yeah, we'll do that one. Paimon just wanted some fruit juice. What's wrong with that? It's 
to weigh your ass? You're like demanding it. Oh, of course. These are just Timaeus's and my subjective opinions on the matter. If you're really intent on pursuing this wondrous device, mm -hmm. you can try your luck asking Albedo. After we finished the Albedo quest in Dragon Spine, his trailers on the MiHoYo website was the first Genshin trailers that I had ever watched. And I remember after watching all of those, we came up with the conclusion really early on in the game that Albedo might be a product of alchemy himself, right? Like his own philosopher stone, if you will, created by his master. That's what makes him exempt from a lot of the rules and properties of the world. You can see it in his constellations, like one of his constellations. No, one of his talents is called like homuncular nature, which is kind of like clearly there's something there. But I wouldn't get your hopes up. If he has no idea how to make one either, you'll have to give up on the idea. He doesn't seem to be in a good mood today, though. What if he ignores us? He won't. Albedo is not that kind of person. Yeah, put some respect on Albedo's name. But there's something about Albedo today. Something seems different. What could it be? Hey, so where is Albedo heading to anyway? Dragonspine? Unless he specifically says otherwise, Dragonspine is where he usually goes. Hmm. He seems particularly fond of that place. And somehow, the cold doesn't seem to bother him at all. Yeah, I wonder why. Then let's go to Dragonspine to find him. Come on, there's no time. A snowy past, act one, let's go. They rarely touched up on Durin last time, which I was a little upset about. They clearly talked about like Durin's will being in the festering desire sword, but like <laughs> no one has addressed the fact that Durin's beating heart is at the heart of the mountain. And I'm just like, when is that gonna be a thing, you know? This looks lively. What's the occasion? Let's go and have a look. Ah, uh, and Cyrus. Taiwan. Fancy meeting you all the way out here. Amber, Cyrus, Pallet? What's everyone doing at Dragonspine? Don't you mind the cold? What's Pallid doing here? You got a lot of nerve showing your face after you pushed Sucrose that one time. Don't think I forgot. Nobody forgot. And no one will ever forget. The Traveler is joining us too. Oh, great. Fantastic. Fucking Wonderful. Cyrus. <laughs> the more the merrier. I love Cyrus too, but he's kind of like a blockhead in some cases. I agree. I feel much better with the Traveler joining us. Definitely the kind of person you want to have around in a tight spot. Sorry, what have I walked into here? Oh, right! Paimon remembers most of these people are from the Avengers Guild. Then again, it seems a certain Outrider is doing too. <laughs> <laughs> Allow me to explain. The Adventurer's Guild is holding winter training on Dragon Spine. Winter training? As you know, our members have varying levels of adventure experience. Dragon Spine is an excellent place for budding adventurers to challenge themselves and improve. But it's dangerous to go alone. <laughs> so we made a plan for senior members to pair up with junior members. This way, everyone can experience training on Dragonspine together under safe and controlled circumstances. Is Amber the senior member and Pal is the junior member? That better be the case. Now, every adventurer can progress together. I've been working on this grand plan for half a year now, and it's finally coming together! <laughs> it's a great plan, isn't it? Hey, you are an outstanding adventurer. Sure. These camera sure. angles, though. Join us and help out. <laughs> nice to see you too, Amber. Is the Adventurer's Guild short on experienced members? Well, that's part of it, actually. The other reason is, when I was patrolling the perimeter of Dragonspine, I found a lost kid named Joel. I think his dad died on the mountain, because I never found him. I heard he lives here on the camp, so I escorted him back. Yeah, Joel's father. I know. Joel's father went missing. I totally sympathize with how much Joel misses his family. Dragonspine is so bleak and deserted. It must have been so lonely for him here. Yeah. Aww, Amber. Anyway, I wanted to do something to cheer Joel up. So, Aww. I said I'd build a snowman with him. Yeah. It's something he enjoys doing. It also gives me a chance to stay here for a while and help Cyrus out. Since it's for Joel, count me in. Aw, really? Thank you. Hell yeah. Let's go meet up with Joel then. Oh, I invited another friend of mine to join too. She should be here any second. She'll be perfect for this kind of thing. Friend, everybody, all right? They're just friends. Hey, Cyrus, we've got to take off. Is that okay? No problem. Go ahead. I still have some final checks to make, so I will call you before we depart. Nice. Talk to the lonely Joel. Hey, Joel, we're here. Hi, Joel. It's been a long time. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. It's nice to have so many people to hang out with. Aw, he looks like Tusser, kind of. Also, get this kid a fucking jacket, for God's sake. Are you here to build a snowman, too? Woo! 
Oh, she's here. Oh my God, finally, some good fucking food. <laughs> Build a snowman. Oh, sorry, I forgot to do the introductions. This is Eula, the Spindrift Knight and captain of the Knights of Favonius Reconnaissance Company. <clears throat> the what now? Amber, you're being far too formal. The child is never going to remember all that. How dare you make this child's mind wander with all these titles. I will never forgive you for this. Vengeance will be mine. Please, just call me Eula. <laughs> okay, Auntie Eula. You can call me Joel. Auntie? That was quick. Auntie Eula? Nani? Eula's gonna add that to her list of stories to settle. Your fucking days are numbered, Joel. All right. If that's what you want to call me, go right ahead. Aww. That's sweet. That's so wholesome. Eula just let something go for once? Yeah. Amber. What's this I hear about a snowman? I came to assist because you told me the Adventurer's Guild was shorthanded. Yeah, shorthanded on building snow. Yeah, that's something else. But look, Joel's at the age where he should be having fun, and there's nothing Hello to play again. with on Dragonspine. He used to build snowmen with his dad, and since his dad's not around, we're keeping him company instead. Sheesh! Besides, Eula, it's gotta be more fun than taking an ice bath all by yourself. <laughs> yeah, she does do that at Dragonspine. That's kind of funny. Let's combine our forces and build ourselves a huge snowman. It'll be a ton of fun. I approve. Let's do it. Yep, yep. Count Paimon in, too. Paimon wants to build a snowman. <laughs> Everyone's having a blast. This is so wholesome and uplifting and heartfelt, and then it's just gonna go to shit. Andy Eula, are you too busy to join in? If so, it's okay. I understand. You know, I'm just gonna guilt trip you about it for all time. No, nothing like that. My mind was on something else, that's all. Building a snowman with Joel, are we? Hmm. Sounds wonderful. I'd be delighted to join you. Aw, Eula. Then let's get started. First, we need to split up into teams to gather some supplies. Joel and I will be on one team. You and Eula can be on the other team. Oh, uh, you know what? That's fine. I'll take her. Hey, Joel, see that huge tree over there? <laughs> Which one? Want to race me there? Yeah, let's do it. Run, kid. Get a head start. Those two are fast. It's hard to tell which of them is having more fun. <laughs> hey, what's up with you two? Why are you just staring at each other without saying anything? Trying to throw down? What's going on? You're acting a little out of character. Um, well... <clears throat> I think it's about her family. Joel probably hasn't spent much of his life in the city. He doesn't know me. And he doesn't know what the Lawrence name means to the people in Mondstadt. Ah, true. It's about, like, making a good impression because he doesn't know about her. Right. So he can't really judge her. That's why he calls you Auntie Eula. Yo, careful, Paimon. True. In his eyes, I'm just another ordinary person from Mondstadt. That's good. It was a surprise, but not in a bad way at all. Uh, then it's time to get building a snowman. Indeed. It's just... What is it? Speak now! That's the thing. I'm a little worried that I won't be up to the challenge. It's a snowman! I have never built a snowman before. <laughs> My upbringing was very strict, so I never had the chance when I was a child. Basically, we have to do all the work, chat. Welcome to Genshin Impact. Nothing new here. And after I grew up, of course, it's not the sort of thing I would spend my time doing. Oh, no! Paimon's starting to feel sorry for you, uh... Ah, oh, take it easy. It's just for fun. You sound confident. <laughs> All right, then. Enough small talk for now. I see we have a member of the Adventurers Guild joining us. Hell yeah. Greetings. Oh. We have a slight problem here. Uh-oh. We've done a headcount, and it turns out that we have an odd number of participants. In other words, we still have one instructor slot left to fill. Uh, you can take Paimon. Me and Eula, we're already kind of like a thing. How it happened was, we originally asked Fischl to be an instructor. Ooh! But she was busy with something outside of Mondstadt during this period. What? So, we found another adventurer to fill in for her, but they still haven't shown up yet. Damn, I would have loved to have Fischl here. We haven't really had Fischl in the story since the Unreconciled Stars event, realistically. Thank goodness you are here. <sighs> oh, hello. My name is Gerald. Okay. I'm a new adventurer. What's going on, Gerald? Welcome. Hmm. In that case... What? Fine. But for that, you will pay. <laughs> Got him. Huh? Pay for what? <laughs> You're in safe hands with Eula. Okay. Hello again. I got it. I'm ready and willing to learn. Let's go, my dude. Good, good. Then everything is settled. Thank you for your help, Eula. If anybody else signs up later, I may have to ask for your help as well. Like, okay. Why did you give the spot to Eula? Oh, d is that what we did? Oh, okay, I see. I want people to know all the good qualities she has. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're so nice. Paimon 
notice you a smile just now. It must have meant a lot to her. Aww. To be honest, Eula really is the best candidate for an instructor. Most people would find it hard to cope on the mountain because of the sheer cold, but not her. She's like, I live in the fucking sheer cold. I am the sheer cold. Now Paimon gets it. <laughs> this must be the whole reason why Amber got Eula involved you in the first place. Yeah, so she can socialize with people. That's really nice. We were supposed to find supplies, but now Eula's busy with other stuff, and, uh, Paimon doesn't feel like going around collecting things. How do you think Amber and Joel are doing? Damn. Let's head up the mountain and see what they're up to. Oh, Dragon Spine, it's Master. been a while. When it snows, Albedo's idle dialogue is master, dot, dot, dot. So the snow reminds Albedo of Rhyndaughter, his master, which I think that's the person that created him. In his character lore, it says that, like, his master is looking for something called the Heart of Naborius, and that they just disappeared one day. Albedo was left with the task of finding out the truth of this world. That's all that he remembers. Alice is the one that instructed him or recommended him to the Knights of Favonius. So. So I assume that Alice knows who Ryan daughter is, or maybe she just found him one day and was just like, yo, I'll take you in. And that's why him and Clea are really close. Didn't they say they were going this way? Where the heck are they? Oh, we're back at the frost bearing tree too. Did we get here too late? Have they moved on already? <laughs> oh. What? Wait, did you hear that? Uh, could they be in danger? Dude, I'm fucking getting scared. What is that noise? Albedo, is that you? Hold on, it's coming from around here. Oh, okay, never mind. We gotta follow the source all the way to the top. Okay, we'll do that. We getting closer? Oh, okay, here it is. The sound just completely stopped. It looks like we lost it. How could that happen? After all the adventures we've been on, our tracking skills are honed to perfection, aren't they? Who's our? You mean my tracking skills. Guess we underestimated whatever was behind it. Hmm. But if that's the case, then what exactly are we dealing with here? I know that voice. Albedo! Hmm? What brings you to Dragon Spot? Oh! <laughs> oh, I've missed him so much. Oh, so it was Albedo all along. I don't think that was him, though. All along? Yeah. Oh, what do you mean by that? Just hearing his voice just calms my soul. On the way here, we kept hearing weird noises, and it felt like someone was watching us the whole time. Turns out it was just you! Uh, he's like, I just got here. Honestly, you really gave us the creeps. If you're bored up here, go find something useful to do. Don't go sneaking around scaring the poop out of people! The things you felt and heard could easily be attributed to animals, or bandits, perhaps. You should be wary at all times in this environment. Yeah, Paimon, you idiot. There are all too many ways to sustain losses here if you aren't careful. So, what business brought you here? <laughs> We're building a snowman, you want to join us? We actually came to look for you, but then it turned into looking for Amber, but now we've met you, so... <laughs> Pretty much. Your thought process is rather chaotic, as is the way in which you articulate it. <laughs> hey! How dare you! All Paimon's trying to say is that we came here to look for you! Oh, is that so? Well, you found me. Then it must surely be something of great importance. <laughs> I'm all ears. Actually, it's nothing serious. You looked a little upset earlier. He seems to be in a better mood than we thought, right? Mm. Does that mean Timaeus' stupidity doesn't really get to him after all? We we're probably overthinking it. Okay, let's let's just forget that ever came up. <laughs> That's okay if you can't tell me about it. Just treat this as an opportunity to stroll on the mountain and enjoy the view. So basically, the truth is we're here on adventurer duty. We tell Albedo about everything. Oh, I see. So you foisted the rookie off onto Eula so that you could run her <laughs> off and uh, goof around. I swear to God, that's not it. We're not goofing around. And Eula was the right person for the job. We were just being nice. Aww. What about you then, huh? What are you doing on Dragon Spine? I live, eat, sleep, breathe, and fucking shit Dragon Spine. You kidding me? A friend commissioned me to do some artwork recently. Ooh. And I have yet to finish. I came here because it's a quiet place where I can gather my thoughts. That's nice. Gather inspiration and gather some raw materials while I'm at it. Raw materials? For what? I wonder if it was Sing Cho. Didn't he commission Albedo to illustrate his book that's like super popular in Inazuma? Paint. Star silver can be used to make high quality silver paint. Ooh. I just ran out of my previous batch. 
So I'll collect some ore while I'm here. Ore can be used to make paint? Yes, but you have to be selective with the specimens you choose. Even with a high level of impurities, star silver still contains fine silver-colored particles, but they lack luster, which impacts the color saturation of the pigment made from them. Paint made with such pigment is generally viewed as a fake <laughs> or a defective product. This is so useless information that I wouldn't care about if it was any other character telling it to me, but I'm just like, Albedo, can you talk about paint all day? Interesting. Paint aside, can you talk about how you find inspiration? Paimon wants to learn. You want to learn to paint? No, no, not for me, for the traveler. Paimon wants the traveler to learn how to paint. So we're making a snowman and we're painting? During our travels, we sometimes have nights where there's nothing to do. It sure be nice to do something memorable rather than just sit around. That'd be kind of cool if we get like an easel and then we can just like paint whenever we wanted. That'd be kind of funny. Painting is a great example because it can capture a moment in time. So it seems like it's definitely a worthwhile skill to have. Yep, why not? Once you mastered it, you can paint time. No thanks. Not a bad idea. Since you two would like to learn more about painting, why don't you come with me to the campsite? I have painting materials there. You can practice while I give you some guidance. Nice. Sounds great! Let's do it. What about Amber? Oh, she'll be fine. <laughs> she is a knight of Favonius after all. Yeah. Let's just forget about all that stuff for now and go with Albedo. Yeah, I think Paimon was actually happy that we pawned off the rookie to Eula so she can goof off. Come on! It's so cold out. <laughs> I know wants to get to the camp and warm up by the fire. All right, let's do it. The atmosphere of Dragon Spine is like top tier. It's like one of the best. It's just unfortunate that like Mihoyo needs to make content around this place for us to have a reason to come here, other than like the occasional commission or two. Hey, we're back. The plate. Oh, this place looks ransacked. What's going on? Thieves! It's gotta be. Uh oh. Some things are missing. Nothing valuable, hopefully. Wait. <laughs> it's hard to say their value, but some of my alchemy notes are missing. Alchemy notes in particular. Alchemy notes? Would they fetch a high price? To the uninitiated, they are merely scraps of paper. Mm-hmm. But for someone who knows what they're doing. Exactly. The knowledge contained in those notes is more valuable than any treasure. Yo, Dainsleaf, you acting up? Kaya, where you at? So you're saying only someone who knows alchemy would have stolen them? Yeah. But the only people who come to Dragon Spine are adventurers, thieves, and monsters. What use would any of them have with your notes? It better not be Timaeus, dude. I'll be so mad if he's just like, I, I just wanted to copy your homework, Mr. Albedo, sir. I feel the same way. However, hilly trail break-ins and other such incidents are not unheard of on Dragonspine. Maybe. It's difficult to draw a conclusion based solely on the evidence at hand. Oh. These appear to be... Footprints? Oh! What kind of footprints? Fresh ones. Meaning our thief can't have made it far. Let's chase him down! We can't let them get away! Who was it? From the entrance, the footprints go that way. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Wait, was it these hilly trails? The footprints lead up there. Oh no. So they scaled the cliff. Okay, after them. Sorry, hilly trolls. I thought y'all were the culprit. Footprints on the snow are so hard to notice. So easy to lose track completely. That's why we have to hurry. The Ooh. footprints stop here. Looks like they jumped oh, down. Thief must have jumped from the cliff. Holy shit. It's a wind glider ready. Ooh. We're going down. Here, more footprints. All right, let's go. They're heading to the cavern. Oh, shit. What the Ooh. hell? <laughs> we got you now. <laughs> you sure can run, but you definitely can't hide. All right, Paimon, relax with the one-liners. Let's go in. Oh, shit. There's a freaking, like, Ooh. domain over here? I have an idea. I'll go in alone. Oh. Traveler, please stay here and guard the entrance. Why? This cavern has two points of entry, and there are shortcuts inside. Okay. Judging from the state of the footprints, he hasn't been in there long. I should be able to reach the other side before he does. Okay. Cut him off at both ends. Good idea! Whoever apprehends the thief first has to notify the other party. This way we're fully covered. All right, that makes sense. Safety comes first. But how do I know you'll be okay? Do not yet know the identity of our thief. Please take care. Well we just go and make a snowman and forget him. See you shortly. Oh, uh, Albedo, please be careful. I found the thief. This is taking forever. He's not been that long. Really? Maybe it just feels like a long time because Paimon hates waiting. Waiting is so boring. Waiting is patience. Why don't we find something to do to pass the time? Like painting. You know, something like... <laughs> 
Like building um, a snowman? Look at all that star silver over there. Why don't we gather it up for Albedo? It's right next to the cavern, so we won't be going far. If anything happens inside, we can be right back here in no time. Sure, fine, we'll do that. Hey, let's get started. The intruder's just gonna walk out and we're just not gonna be paying attention, watch. Hey, this one's not bad. This stuff looks kind of lackluster. Ooh, yeah, that one's is inferior. That because of the impurities like Albedo was talking about? Yeah. Right. Hmm. Some star silver shines a lot more brightly than others, huh? Finally, you're back. You good? Yes. Why is the thief not with you? Sorry, I was unable to catch him. He was faster than I'd imagined. Oh, shit. Okay. So after all of that, we still don't even know who the thief was? Oh, what a waste. I wonder if we're going to find out who still, did it. We won't be going back completely empty-handed. We did some mining. Mining? Yeah, for star silver. Look, we got quite a lot. <laughs> it's just like you said. Some are really bright and shiny, and others just look like regular lumps of rock with a little shiny bit here or there. That's not him. <laughs> you know why that's not him? The symbol on his neck isn't there. What the fuck is happening? Did whoever took his alchemy transmute a copy, a clone? Stop. Star silver. Bro, alchemy's busted. You can actually do this? Uh, <laughs> I was merely saying what was on the front of my mind. Uh, I hadn't thought you would genuinely go and gather some. So he has cryo. Well, you said they can be turned into paint, so we got pretty curious. Also, if it weren't for that thief, we'd be making paint by now anyway, right? Or even painting by this point. Who would want to impersonate Albedo, though? Or steal his research to impersonate him? Anyway... It's all the thief's fault for wasting our time. Maybe the thief was in the cave, saw Albedo coming, avoided him, shapeshifted into Albedo with the alchemy, and then came out and he's trying to pass himself off as Albedo to us so he doesn't get caught. Yes, it's all the thief's fault. The notes mean a lot to me. I'm not quite ready to give up the search yet. Let's keep an eye out for clues as we go. Dude, it's so weird not seeing that fucking symbol on his neck because that's so distinct. When we were theorizing that he was a homunculus, I mentioned in Full Metal alchemist all of the homunculi have like the ouroboros insignia somewhere on their body and i felt like that was the genshin impact tevat equivalent that little diamond symbol on his neck oh just one thing do you want us to bring all this ore back or did you want to sort through and get rid of the useless bits first there's no point in bringing the bad ones back if it'll ruin the quality of the paint some of them do look pretty dull to paimon so it doesn't seem like those will be of any use at all <sighs> He's like, damn it, I'm trying to get out of here. This girl won't shut the hell up. Indeed, the sorting process is necessary. Humans are such practical creatures. Humans? They want those things that are good. Once they have learned to distinguish between good and bad, uh -oh. they will never stop comparing things in their minds. Uh, what? <laughs> humans? Implying that this person is not human? Is it an abyss mage? Useless things should be disposed of at the outset. That would make sense if it's an abyss mage, because their former Conrad of people and they would understand how chemia and alchemy works right saves a lot of time that way efficiency first like a cryo oh, mage start by help help me what wait did you guys hear that was that was that joel a cry for help it's likely an adventure in danger oh god is it fucking gerald the voice is definitely coming from around here who is it is anybody there Help me! Bennett! Oh, that's why- What the fuck is Bennett doing? Oh my god, dude. When it comes to Bennett, you just have to accept that these things happen. He's in horny jail. <laughs> no way. Is that- Benny boy. Is that the traveler in Paimon? It's me, Bennett! Oh, my boy. Whoa, it's really him. So sorry to trouble you guys again. The key should be someplace nearby. Please, help me find it. Wow. Elemental sight, maybe? Is that gonna find the key for us? Oh, yeah, it's right here. Is this it? Hold on. Wow, so much clutter. Oh, we're not gonna find the key. Oh, wait. Okay, here. hold on. It's uh, it's around here somewhere. Uh oh we got company. Got him. Oh, so they kept the key with them. Nice. We were searching around for nothing. Oh, finally, I'm out. Thank you so much. If only there hadn't been rocks mixed in with the snow on the tree, it wouldn't have made me all dizzy when it fell down onto my head. <laughs> and then I would have never walked into the Fatui's trap. Oh, Bennett. Bennett? In a cage? Never saw that! 
up coming. Yeah, I saw that coming from a mile away. You kidding me? And I still wasn't expecting it. <laughs> I won't bore you with the rest of the details. Just me being unlucky again. Unlucky rubber ducky. We got revenge for you. Yep, taking them out was child's play. No need to thank us. Ava looks so proud of himself. You did? <laughs> That's so nice of you guys. I know they were probably just following orders. Mm. But still, thanks for helping me out. So what are you doing on Dragonspine? Didn't Razor want to come with you? Did you hear about the Adventurer's Guild thing? They're hosting a winter camp here. Mm -hmm. As one of their veteran adventurers, I'm here to help out the rookies. But no one wanted to pair with him. How sad. Razor is not an adventurer. Mm. And as the leader of Benny's adventure team, <laughs> as well as the only actual member, <laughs> I had to come on my own. Imagine Mihoyo was like, all right, Arnold, we gave you Razor and fucking Albedo during the Midsummer Island adventure. Imagine they gave me Albedo, Razor, and Bennett, my three favorite characters in Genshin. I would literally claim this to be my event. But now I've been stuck here for so long, I probably missed it. I hope Cyrus doesn't get mad at me. Ah, oh, you're fine. Oh! Uh. Wait. So that guy, Gerald, who got left in the lurch, he was supposed to be paired up with you? Oh, that makes sense, but Bennett didn't make it because he got trapped. If so... Sorry, Bennett, but you really did miss it. Shit. But then different instructor instead. What? Weren't they short on instructors? Where'd they suddenly get extras from? A few people from the Knights of Avonia stepped up in order to help support the event. Mm. So they ended up with more instructors than students. Knights of Favonius, yeah, they're definitely more reliable than me. Aww. I'm just a walking accident waiting to happen. Don't be like that, you're great too. Right, right. Anyway, that was just the situation when we last saw them. It might have changed by now. Who knows? Maybe a whole load more rookies will have turned up to join in. Besides, after all the trouble you've gone to show up as an instructor, Paimon sure Cyrus will put you to work. Oh my god, dude, there would have been so much potential because they said that they were going to have Fischl in here too, and Bennett has a crush on Fischl, so that would have been awesome to have them two interacting in here too. Aw, oh, man. Really? For sure. Hmm. Hey, wait a second. Where are Go. Yeah, the fucking imposter just fucking walked out. Albedo? You mean the alchemist from the Knights of Avonius? He's one of the instructors too? Oh no, he's just big chilling. No, he just happened to be on Dragonspine. We were just with him, but then we heard you calling for help. He must have left us at some point after that. We left him technically. Could he have gone back to keep looking for clues? Let's go back to the cavern and see if he's there. Oh boy, oh boy. I don't think he's here anymore. Yeah, he straight left our ass. Still no sign of Albedo. This is weird. Where has he run off to? You know what would be crazy is if the imposter Albedo left left and then the real albedo came back and then we'd ask him like where did you go and he's like but i was uh, you know what i mean like the classic misdirection this is great dragon spine's so fun today there's so many people around it's never usually like this this was where we heard bennett's cry for help right we heard his voice and went straight over to rescue him then we noticed albedo was gone so he just <laughs> didn't feel like helping us save bennett Damn, he's like, I got more important shit to do. Wait, what? What are you talking about? <gasps> I yeah. told you! Where have you been? We've been looking for you. I fucking knew this was gonna happen. I should be the one to ask you that. That's the real Didn't one. I tell you to stay at the cavern entrance? This is the real Albedo because he's got the diamond mark on his neck. Paimon's like, am I going crazy? I'm not really following who was waiting for who and who was looking for who, but first things first. I apologize, Albedo. I don't fully understand what's going on, but it seems like it's mostly my fault. Bennett, you literally were in a fucking wooden box. How is it your fault at all? Bennett, this is not because of you. Yeah. You needn't blame yourself. Traveler, clear this up for me. What was the reason that you left the cavern entrance? You came out. Did you? You came out. <laughs> <laughs> there you are. Oh, yo, that ass though. What the fuck, Mihoyo? Y'all are acting up, dude. Stay right there. You have a lot of explaining to do. Did the imposter do something and now Albedo's being blamed? Me? No. You, huh? Aren't you supposed to be helping the new guy? Oh, shit. Yes, that's what I would be doing. 
if I hadn't been interrupted by a certain someone's malicious scheming. Someone hit the fucking emergency button. We gotta have a meeting. Classic Among Us. She thinks it's him. He's like, I didn't do it. We were fucking in electrical. I don't know what happened. Albedo, I saw you taking Jewel towards the wasteland <laughs> at the edge of Dragonspine. That place is crawling with monsters. What the devil do you think you were doing? You was third imposter, dude. Uh, uh. <laughs> Look at his face. He's like, what are you fucking talking about, woman? Whoa, 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 wait a second. What's going on? Actually, wrong question. <gasps> How much stuff is going on? How many snowmen have you made by now? When I came to stop you from leading Joel any further, your first reaction was to throw the child down and attack me. When I fought back, you quickly fled. Care to explain? What the fuck is this imposter doing? Oh, I see. Interesting. <laughs> That's quite the response. Interesting. You, uh, it sounds like you met an imposter. <laughs> Someone who was impersonating me. There you go. Impersonating you? To what end? It is difficult to draw a definitive conclusion for now, but these strange incidents do seem to be connected. What a fucking five head finesse, dude. He was like, bro, I know what's going on. I'm being impostered. That is so fucking pog. Your alchemy notes were stolen. Can the Traveler and Paimon testify that the three of you were together up until you entered the cavern? Yes. Yes, we we can confirm that. As things stand, I don't have any reason to harm the child. Whoever you met is likely to be both a thief who stole my notes and also an imposter. Yo, let's fucking eject his ass. Of course, it's entirely natural for you to be skeptical of my story. I was separated from the Traveler and Paimon for a significant duration while we were pursuing the thief. My word alone cannot serve as a definitive account of my actions and whereabouts during that period. Mm. But the Traveler and Paimon can at least testify that I was not the individual who tore up the campsite or stole my notes. True. Albedo, do you have any enemies? <laughs> Could it be one of your enemies impersonating you to get revenge on you or something? I don't have any enemies, and I'm not aware of having given anyone cause to exact vengeance upon me. That you know. So I assume it's an abyss mage, like a cryo abyss mage that knows how to read the art of Chemia alchemy notes to then perform the transmutation art to be able to impersonate Albedo and and get away with whatever they're trying to do? There is insufficient evidence to assert what happened with any certainty at this point. Given how serious the situation is, I intend to investigate it myself, even if you decide not to pursue it any further. I love how this is like a continuous fucking Among Us meeting right now. You, I won't discourage your ongoing suspicion of me if you can't believe my story. Though, naturally, I would hope you can afford me some credibility on account of our solidarity as fellow members of the Knights of Avonius. Yeah. Traveler? Paimon, Bennett, Aww. if you are willing, I welcome you to monitor my activities beyond this point so that you can act as my witnesses. If I am what this imposter wants, he will come looking for me again eventually. Uh. Things can only become clearer from that point on. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, mm -hmm. as preposterous as your claims sound, and I will choose to believe that an imposter went after Joel, and not you. I will keep Joel safe if you need any support with the investigation. Contact myself and Amber. All right. You have my gratitude. Good shit. As far as Amber goes, I will. Eula! Eula! Where are you? Please tell me Joel's with you. Uh-oh. Amber, we're here. Where's Joel? Eula! Oh, and Traveler, Paimon, Albedo, and Bennett. You're all together. Great. Cool. Where's the kid? Bennett, I'm glad I ran into you here. Cyrus was telling me you still hadn't shown up. <laughs> he was getting worried you might have run into some trouble. Uh, Joel, hello? Yeah, I ran into a little trouble. Thanks for your concern. Sure thing. Well, now that I found you, let's go check in with Cyrus. Okay. Uh, but before that, has something come up? Yep. How come you're all gathered here together? Need any help? Where were you before the freaking meeting was called, Amber? Between us. There have been a few minor incidents, but nothing I haven't already dealt with. Yo, Joel might be the imposter. You know, he's the only one that's not here. Classic imposter play. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's my fault, really. All because of my bad luck. But everything is fine now. So, it's all set then? Great. Shall we head back down together? I did say I'd bring Bennett back if I saw him. Okay. Sure, I'm ready to go. Shit. Very well, let's go. Let's go! And then there were three. Mm-hmm. For now. Traveler, can we talk somewhere else? There's something I need to tell you. Uh-oh. It was actually me the whole time. <laughs> Let's go to my camp. Is he gonna tell me more about, like, Durin or whatever? My camp is somewhere that we can talk openly, without reservation. But before that... Uh-huh. We gotta clean up. <laughs> Paimon, get to work! What a mess! 
I can tidy it. We're doing everyone's work. I've had enough. This is bullshit. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, let's let's help I've out with this. I've been my research lately and haven't attended to the dusting. It's due for a cleaning. <laughs> yeah, you're telling me. Oh, yeah, the drawing that he did in uh, 1.2. Almost everything's back to normal. Not bad, not bad. I'll take those potatoes as payment. Thank you very much. Yep, that should do it. Neat and tight. Bro, I love how an imposter fucked up everything and then I had to put it all back. Thank you. Both of you. Yeah, both of us. You mean me. Now that everything is in order, it's time to talk. All right. I'm all ears. You look really serious right now. Is this about what happened earlier? What's up, Albedo? I remember I once told you that you must have questions. Yes. And then I would answer them. <gasps> Is he gonna tell us what I think he's gonna tell us? I also said that while I did not wish to deceive you, there were certain things I could not go into detail on. Uh-huh, until these recent developments? You can trust me! I'll keep it a secret. I am a synthetic. Oh! Uh, what? A human. They confirmed it! Human hand. The one who created me. <laughs> my mother and teacher. You're kidding! Her name is Ryan Daughter, a researcher. Also gold! Also known as gold. There's no way! There's no way! They just confirmed all of this in a cutscene! This is so important! This should not be limited. They just confirmed our theory that Albedo is not only a homunculus and that Rhine Daughter, well, we already knew Rhine Daughter was his, but the, the mother, the teacher, the alchemist who created him, but that gold. Oh my God, I'm literally going into lore mode. So in his trailer, there's a title line that says Chalk pursues gold. Albedo pursues gold. Albedo pursues Rhine Daughter. Albedo's looking for gold because she like dipped and went looking for the heart of Naborius. And she was like, find the fucking truth of this world, right? Gold has been creating all of these abominations and monstrosities. Gold created the fucking wolf lord right now on freaking Surumi Island. Gold created Durin. I assume gold is the great sinner. A great sinner created organisms with like black alien blood. And it was through Conria. Wow. They really just confirmed the homunculus theory. Another thing that's crazy to me is that Rhine Daughter created Durin and she created Albedo and Albedo is driven to the place where Durin is located. Durin's heart is here in the heart of the mountain. So it's just crazy how both of these things are like so closely interconnected because of Rhine Daughter. I hope Rhine Daughter is a playable character in the future. I wonder if Alice knows Rhine Daughter because Albedo was found by Alice and Alice is supposed to be like this wise, ancient like sorceress herself. She travels the world. She knows a thing or two. She's seen other worlds too. And I wouldn't be surprised if she knows Rhine Daughter and like Rhine Daughter, Alice, Lisa, and Mona's master are like these four super powerful like sorceresses of the Tevat world. I feel like. Gold is still alive? I assume so. Rhine Daughter created the Rift Hounds and the, the Lord of the Rift, the Wolf Lord. And those were the wolves that attacked Springvale and like Razor and his wolves got blamed for it. And that seemed like a recent development. So Rhine Daughter had to have created those wolves back then. What the fuck is she up to? A synthetic human? <laughs> what the? How the heck does that work? When the pinnacle of attainment in alchemy is combined with unimaginably vast learning, the apex achievement is the creation of human life. The biggest sin of alchemy, human transmutation. She must know everything about everything to be able to create a synthetic human. When you say Conria, <laughs> Now I want to know if Rhine Daughter was around back then during the destruction of Conria. I am indeed somewhat older than my appearance might suggest, but when I came into being, okay, 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 Conria had already been destroyed. Okay, never mind. I have no memories of it. Yeah, I wonder how old Albedo is then. My master raised me and taught me everything, like her. I am a pure alchemist. Wow. I live for academic knowledge. Nationality and identity are not what ultimately define us. Yeah, it's the pursuit of knowledge. So what I want to know is imagine if Rhine Daughter is also a synthetic human that went on to create her own synthetic human. Because like, Albedo seems to be perfection. He is the perfection of alchemy. I think that would just be super cool. Like the only way to attain perfection in alchemy is if you are perfection yourself. And he is chalk, which is seen as like the essence of purity. Traveler. Sheesh! What is your general feeling toward Dragonspine? You've visited numerous times now. Would you say it's a <laughs> cold, eerie, and melancholy place? Not when you're around, buddy. Rhine Daughter created two miraculous beings. Thank you! One is me. <laughs> and the other 
as the venomous dragon. Yo, Durin, they're giving died here. everything. Dude, Albedo held off for an entire year, and I'm eating good tonight, boys. Durin? So that makes you guys brothers? I never thought of that. Okay, so it literally says here, this was a memory that the child named Durin had for its mother. But then you come here, right? You go to the, you go to the inventory. You go to the fucking, you go to the fucking weapon ascension materials. You read this shit right here. And it says the black serpent dragon Durin that attacked Mondstadt was one such being. A great sinner created endless monsters with dark alien blood fro flowing from its veins. So... Is that great sinner and the mother one in the same? Durin is literally just a one big fucking science experiment. You know what would be fucking crazy, bro? Is if Durin, because it says the chalk prints in the dragon. We now know that the dragon apparently was a child or was a boy or whatever. Dude, imagine how Beto's related to Durin. And like <laughs> the mother and father are like the parent and like the sinner that did all that crazy experimental shit. Oh my God, that would be nutty. Albedo is technically related to all of these alchemic creations. Durin, the Wolf Lord, holy shit. As sons of Rhine daughter. Sons! Durin and I are indeed inextricably linked to one another. That's why I said earlier, it's so interesting how he's drawn to this place. He's drawn to his brother. The phenomenon of our creation defies definition within the scope of a typical human worldview. But if we may tentatively call it birth, then yes, we, by extension our family oh i cannot believe this dude this is just act one um speaking of durin kaiman remembers that his power was quite special the festering desire sword holy shit what a crazy turn of events that's right because of this whenever strange things happen on dragon spine it always makes me wonder <gasps> For instance, the feeling of being watched that you described, as well as the sounds you heard and the one impersonating me that Eula met. About that, there's something that I couldn't say earlier. Oh, right! Paimon knows what you mean! When Eula and the others were here just now, the Traveler gave me a look as if to say, don't say anything. <laughs> Probably because it would only make you more suspicious. So Paimon kept quiet. Yeah. But Paimon noticed that you came out of the cavern not too long after going in mm -hmm. and you told us that you didn't manage to catch the thief we encountered the, the imposter and he looked just like you then we heard bennett calling for help so we went to rescue him but strangely you didn't come with us and when we got back to the cavern to go find you suddenly you were the one looking for us so it seems that you met my imposter too well if so it was a pretty good impression. He had you down to mm -mm. a team. We never would have guessed. Also, after he left us, why did he go after Joel? Perhaps Durin's power drives people to madness, but that's merely crude conjecture. Huh. Whether someone is impersonating me or there is another false me out there, this is a cursed tale, and it is not one whose weight you should have to bear. Yeah, we gotta find Joel. We gotta hope he makes his snowman, damn it. He doesn't deserve this, okay? He's already had a rough life with losing his dad. Traveler, perhaps you should return to Mondstadt if you have no further business here. The work that lies ahead will occupy me completely. I'm afraid I will be unable to entertain you beyond this point. I'm not going anywhere, dude. We're boys. Paimon and I will help with the investigation. Yeah, we're dragon spine veterans by now. Hell yeah. There's something really bad going on. We can't just leave you here to deal with it on your own. That wouldn't be very nice now, would it? Besides, there's no one else in Mondstadt that you can talk to about this. Sucrose and Timaeus don't know you're... Yeah, that's true. God, we're so much more connected with Albedo now. And he knows that we're not from this world, so we kind of know a little bit about each other. We're the only ones who can help. Yeah, don't push us away at a time like this. All right. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. You were intending to participate in that winter camp, if I recall correctly. Mm. That could serve as an excellent pretext for you to remain on the mountain. Yep. In that case, please join in the activities of the Adventurer's Guild as planned, and be on the lookout for any leads while you're at it. Yes. If anyone sees me or someone like me... You're gonna get a bad rap. We'll be sure to pass the info straight on to you. Good. Then we're agreed. Okay. Let's split up to look for 
clues. Then meet back here at this camp in a few days' time. Oh, is this the end of Act 1, then? Sounds good to me. But please, whatever happens, put your safety first at all times. Mm-hmm. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit, dude. What a phenomenal fucking event. I cannot believe this. We got way more information in this first act than we did in the entirety of the Chalk Prince and the Dragon. This actually retroactively reinforces the events that happened during 1.2 because now we know the significance and the link between Albedo and Durin. The only thing that I'm wondering though is why Albedo said, if I were to lose myself, destroy Monstat, can I count on you to stop me? Why does he feel like that would happen? Is that just the inevitability of a homunculus? You know what I mean? To inevitably lose their sentience. Or it might be the fact that he might actually like resonate with Durin so much that he will join with his brother. You know what I mean? And become like the true like combination of Rhine Daughter's two creations, like a two in one. The will of Durin and the perfection of Albedo. Going to artifact descriptions, if you come to this one here it says when conrear was destroyed which this is after its destruction right when albedo was created it says a great sinner created endless monsters with dark alien blood we found out through this that this is how durin was created we also know from the boss material of the golden wolf lord that gold mass produced these malformed wolf packs almost as if by accident. This might be like a lesser creation, like the Rift Wolves and like the Rift Lord, but Rhine Daughter is still creating these. She's still creating these monstrosities for what end to what end, I have no idea, but it's just very fascinating because she also created Albedo and gave him a sense of purpose with trying to find the truth of this world. And we actually still don't know what the heart of Naboris is because if we go, we'll actually go to Albedo's story content. One day, deep in the heart of the dungeon, master and a Prentice discovered an artifact known as the Heart of Nibirius, and with that, his master disappeared, leaving naught but a note, a recommendation letter to go to Mondstadt, seek Alice, and complete his assignment, which is the Magnus Opus, find out the truth and the meaning of this world. Thus, Albedo's life begins. Well, this was absolutely positively incredible. I did not think they were gonna go that hard with lore right out the gate. I didn't think we'd be getting, like, Rhine Daughter and Albedo lore for a while. I was expecting something, but because we didn't get a lot in the 1.2 Chalk Prince and the Dragon event, I thought they were going to hold out a lot of information for this too. But they literally just revealed all of Albedo's lore, stuff that's locked behind flavor text and like his story profile that you would have to read to figure out all that stuff like we did. So, you know, we're kind of more informed than the average player, I think. But it really is baffling to me that this event is limited. And I just think this is such a shame. You have to digest this information to understand what's coming in the future. Because then when Ryan daughter gets here people are just gonna be like who is this and it's just so baffling it's so crazy read the lore please if you can't experience this it's so worth this was an absolute treat we got so much lore for albedo durin and Ryan daughter all in one and they kind of did some light setup for whoever this mysterious imposter is that we're eventually going to confront by the end of the event so i really hope you guys enjoyed the content i hope you guys enjoyed my reactions my commentary my thoughts of everything you guys know i love the lore of this game this is like heaven to me and it was just incredibly rewarding to actually just be right about a lot of stuff during the early point of the game that we didn't know what we were speculating on i really loved it i really hope you guys did too we'll definitely be back for tomorrow for act two as well